In nearly every science class you take, you're going to be asked to talk about significant figures. So why are they important? Well, they allow us to communicate to others about the precision of the instrument we used. So we're going to need to know how to read a ruler or a meter stick. Okay? How the ruler is divided is important. So look at the bottom box. How long would you say this box is? What do you think? Would you say that it's three centimeters? Or is it a little less than that? Maybe 2.9 centimeters? Well, what if it's somewhere between 2.9 and 3? Would I say it's 2.95 centimeters? So let's talk about the rules. For a scale, you're going to find the smallest division. Okay, so this is a division right here. And this division is 1. Okay, so you're going to find the smallest division and then read it to one more decimal place. So if the small division is 1 centimeter, you're going to read it to the nearest 0.1 centimeter. Up here, you can see the divisions are 0.1 centimeter, so we should read it to the 0.01 centimeter. So how should, so for this bottom box, how should we report this? Well, we need it to a tenth, and this is a pretty good guess right here. Okay, There can be some disagreement. You may see, you may see answers of 2.8 or 2.9 or even 3.0. It's up to everybody's sort of best judgment to estimate that last digit, and you may see some variation there. Okay. For the first box, for this top box here, it looks like it's somewhere between 3.2 and 3.3. So how should we report it? All right. So we've decided we need to report it to the 0.01 I think it's probably 3.29, but would it be okay if somebody said 3.28 or somebody said 3.30? Sure, those are equally fine. Okay, so that's how we read a scale, find the smallest division, and then go one extra decimal point. It's also important to know how to read a graduated cylinder or some other container with a volume. So first, let's make sure we know what a meniscus is, okay? You see this curved, this curve right here? That's what we call the meniscus. It's because the water tends to cling to the side of the containers, and it forms this shape. Always read the bottom of the meniscus, okay? Always read the bottom. So for this graduated cylinder here, we got a little zoom in. What do you think it is? You want to take a minute and see if you can figure out what you should call this? Okay, so let's see. What's the smallest division? Well, it looks like the smallest division is one milliliter. And it looks like we're somewhere below, just below about 67 milliliters. So right at or about 67 milliliters. So we should report this to the nearest 0.1 milliliter. So you might have said that it was 67.0 milliliters, or you might have said that it was 66.9 milliliters. Okay. Either one of those would have been fine, or something very, very close. Okay, so that's going to be the rule when we read scales. Find the smallest division, and then go one extra decimal point. And that last number isn't a guess, but it's, a, it's an estimate. It's an educated guess or an estimate.